All right, problem two, subject math GRE practice exam. You're asked what is the area of an equilateral triangle whose inscribed circle has radius two. Uh, I don't know, I'm visual, I like to have pictures of all this stuff. So here is a more or less equilateral triangle with a more or less inscribed circle with a radius of two. So what you're trying to do is figure out what is the area of this triangle um, well, there's lots of different ways you can do a problem like this. I think the easiest way is to divide your triangle up into shapes whose area you know. So what I'm saying is if I draw a couple more radii in here, those distances are two as well. And what you'll see is I've divided my triangle, equilateral triangle, up into these three kites here. You know, kites, I don't really remember the formula for the area of a kite. Well, you don't have to because you can divide each kite into a right triangle. So if I could just figure out the area of this green triangle right here, my answer, the area is equal to, I don't know, green times six. That's stupid even, right? Uh, the area of this entire triangle is just the area of this green triangle times six. So what do I have for this green triangle? Well, let me redraw it down here so it's easier to look at. Uh, I know that the height of this triangle is two. I know that this is a 90 degree angle. And so what I'm looking for for area of this triangle is it's half the base times the height. And I have the height as two, I just need to know what the base is. I, fortunately for me, I can figure that out using a little bit of trig. So the trick here is because this is an equilateral triangle, this entire angle here is 60, and therefore this angle right here is 30. And so if I want to figure out what the base is, if I want a trig function that relates together the base here and this number two, well, that's the opposite and the adjacent side. So tangent is what re rep, um, puts those together. So tangent of 30 degrees, uh, soka toa, I guess, is equal to two over B. So B, this thing that I'm trying to figure out, is equal to two over tangent or two times cotangent, however you prefer to write it. Um, and I don't have tangent values memorized off the unit circle. You might. More power to you. I don't. Uh, but I know that tangent is sine over cosine. So if I replace this tangent, and yeah, I guess tangent of x, whatever. Tangent of 30, I should say, in all of these. Um, if I replace that with sine of 30 over cosine of 30, and I have this fraction inside of a fraction, and I can rewrite it as 2 cosine of 30 divided by sine of 30. I do have cosine and sine memorized off my unit circle. Uh, the cosine of a 30 degree angle is, I thought I had those memorized, do I? Root three over two? Yeah. Uh, so this is two times root three over two. And the sine of 30 degree angle is one half. So this two and this two cancel out. I'm left with root three over one half, AKA two root three. So what that tells me is the length of the base is 2 root 3. It's not the answer to the question. But if I know the length of the base, I can figure out the area of the triangle. It's 1 half the length of the base, 2 root 3, times the height, which I already wrote here was 2. Uh, so this 1 half and this 2 cancel out. <clears throat> and so I figure out that the area of the triangle is 2 root 3. But that's not what I'm trying to figure out. I want to know... That's the area of this little triangle. I want to know the area of the equilateral triangle. And there's six of these guys in this equilateral triangle. So I'll take six and I'll multiply it by two root three. And that gives me 12 root three, which sure enough is a solution.